Let's play a game of chance. This is the box I chose. Thousand bucks. Hey, sir. Hi. One of the boxes contain money. So go there, choose one, only one. If the money is there, it's yours. But only one. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Good luck. I'm sorry. Gambling is a game of chance, or is it? I want to try to control the chance for someone to win really big. Yet there are some things even I cannot predict. Hi, Hi. how are you? Bye -bye. You want to join me for a minute? What's your name? Jeremy. Jeremy and? Hi, Ada. Ada, nice to meet you. My name is Chaim. You look such a nice couple. I want to give you opportunity to win a lot of money, a to be money. millionaires. Millionaires. Now, you see me smile, but it's real opportunity. It... <laughs> The opportunity is inside. You have three seconds to decide if you want to take it or not. Uh, yes. <laughs> I know that my English is not so good, but try to understand me. No, it's fine. Me. No, it's fine. You understand me? Of yeah. course, yeah. Perfect. This is the game. I will give it to you. From this moment, it's yours. If you want to be a millionaire, all this, this is your chance to win the money. I want you to go to the casino together, both of you. First time that you see the roulette, you stop. In the first moment that you can do it, I want you to put this $50 on the first number. Okay. Then, after you win, you put all the money on the second number, okay. and then all the money that you get on the third number. Only three games, three numbers, that's all. I want you to write on the envelope the three numbers of the three games that you played. If you... Tell us this number. So I will tell you the numbers, of course. <laughs> if you will win three times in a row, from this $50, you can get $2,300,000. Don't hesitate, don't stop. What if we lose on the first number and we have no more money? So continue to write the winning numbers. Okay. Okay, of the three games. The but three games. you will not lose. I will not lose. No. You know, I gave you the opportunity to win. Let's run, let's take the 50 and run. Baby. It's very serious. <laughs> Try to do your best. Did you understand everything I said? I believe so, yeah. I will wait here, go there, try to do it fast as you can, and come back with the money, with the check, probably. Good luck. It was your money, that's why I'm smiling, but <laughs> no, there was nothing. I right, say, so give me $50 for the chips, put it all on I, one. I think you're kidding me. No, nothing. Is, no. is he kidding? No. I'm embarrassed now. No, I wasn't. No, I'm sorry. I don't believe. Come on. Like Were you like putting thoughts in my mind and I missed it or something? You no, know, it's supposed to work and it's supposed to be amazing. Yeah, I wish it worked. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, but I really don't believe that you didn't win. Nothing at all? No. I put it all on the first number that we thought of, one, and, and then what we... What do you mean that you thought of? Oh. What? The first number. When we got to the table, what? I t you asked me if, if I know the numbers, I told you they know. Yeah, I, I thought it was some like psychic vibe or something. <laughs> We missed it. What were the winning numbers? Um, the first one's 29. 29, 0, and 14? Yeah. yeah. I told you, I told you that the envelope is your chance to be millionaires. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't tell me that you didn't open it. No, we didn't. No, we didn't open it. Why? No. So why are you holding an envelope? I thought you wanted Just to write on. We thought it was a piece of writing it. paper. That's all. I really feel sorry. I really feel sorry. But open it. I, I, I... Okay. Come on. It was only one chance. 
this is your life time chance to become a millionaire please place the money on 29 0 and 14. nice wow amazing so funny. <laughs> you are amazing and we missed that chance <laughs> Are you okay? We're yes. not mad at each other. Yes. <laughs> so, thank you very much. I've never seen anything like that before. Really. I'll never forget it, that's for sure. It would have been nice to walk out with a check. Yeah, we could have $2 million. That'd be nice. I guess we just have to work hard now. <laughs> you want it? Yeah, we're going to frame this. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Even with the help of a mentalist, it seems it doesn't pay to gamble. The house always wins. Words to remember when gambling. This is Dawn, and she's going to play roulette in a tattoo parlor. Win or lose, she will have to face the outcome for the rest of her life. Dawn? Yes. Hi, nice to meet you. We contacted yesterday, and you mentioned that you want to do a tattoo, right? Yes. So you are going to do this tattoo on TV in front of everybody. Yeah. But it's going to be a little bit different. We are going to gamble. <laughs> you are going to gamble. <laughs> Choose a tattoo. Just pick one and think about it. Okay. okay, I will try to guess what is the tattoo that you want. Okay, so it is still okay with you? Uh, sure, yeah, okay. Why? Why are you doing this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Take your time when you're ready and you have a tattoo in your mind, remember it. Really? No. I have a really specific idea in my head, but I don't know if that'll still work. Why not? Let's try. Okay. It's very important. Concentrate all the time. I will ask the artist to be focused all the time. Think about the image that you have in your mind. I will think really hard. <laughs> Ready? Yes. Let's go. Scott is one of the best artists in town, so you are in good hands. <laughs> Scott, today we have to connect ourselves and try to guess exactly what kind of tattoo you don't want. It's a gambling game. Do your best. Okay. Here's a shirt. Is this your first tattoo? Yes. Perfect. You nervous at all? Oh, yeah. Are you nervous? No, no. Okay, good. It's good. Are you sure you want to do it? Positive. T-shirt. Have a seat right out. Do you have someone, family or friends that know that you're going to do this? Yeah. And what did they call you? The general consensus is I'm completely insane. <laughs> For sure they said that, huh? Don, are you ready? Yeah. Focus. Okay, concentrate. Imagine that you see the image that you have in your mind. Not as bad as you think it's gonna be. Are you ready? Yeah. How's it feel? Scott, there is any chance to change it now or it's too late? Too late. Let's start with it. Every moment that you are not concentrated can cost you a little too that you don't want forever. Why is there no skin characters in Are you serious? <laughs> no cartoon characters. Today there is uh, some ways to erase it, right? No, erases don't work. Will it? No. Don't, what you will do if you don't like it? I'm going to think positive and positive. Very, very important. The only thing that I can tell you for sure, the art is unbelievable. There you go, girl. Well done, that was so bad. Thank you. No problem. Beautiful. Thank it you. It is beautiful. Good luck, I hope you like it. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh is my favorite too. <laughs> Try not to look, not peek. I want you to stand here in front of a mirror. Are you nervous? Oh yeah. <laughs> tell me what you wanted to have in your bag. I wanted a white calla lily. What is calla lily? Uh, a white flower. But when, when, I ask you, when I ask you to think about something, yeah. did you think about? Yeah. White flower? Yeah. Did you see some colors in your mind? One color, green. Only one color? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yes. Oh my god. That's actually it. That's really good. <laughs> That's amazing. That's... I'm stunned. That's amazing. That's... That's un that I love it. That's so cool. 
Oh my God, very, thank very, you. Very much. Scott, thank you very much. You did great, great no job. Problem. Thank you. Insane. Mind reader. She had no idea what she was getting. Her first tattoo. It's kind of a big deal. Probably one of my greatest experiences in tattooing for sure. Read someone's mind and guess. Completely amazed. I was totally expecting him not to get it right. I just hoped that it would be something that I'd like. <laughs> so it's what you wanted, huh? Yeah. Crazy. That is crazy. I sensed it. Oh, I was gonna do it with the poo. Something changed my mind. You are amazing. <laughs> It was a huge gamble, and I, it paid off, and I really didn't think it would at all. So, thank God the house doesn't always win. <laughs> I, mean, I should go buy a lottery ticket right now. Hello, sir. Hi. Hi. Hi, you can sit down. How often you play lottery? Once a week. Once a month? Twice a month. Every birthday? My wife's birthday, too. Did you win something? Never. Never. <laughs> I'm going to play with you again. It's a mind lottery. I am the machine right now, so I choose the numbers. My numbers. I will think about six numbers. Let's wait one to fifty. Okay. Take the ethos I want to see you. Let me concentrate. I hope you will understand what they write here. Okay, I have six numbers here. I want you to tell me your own six numbers. Imagine that you see a lot of numbers, right. and suddenly you focus on one number. What is the first number you have in your mind now? 25. What is the second number? 28. You are amazing. Tell me one number. 17. Tell me one number. 36. 12. 12? Yes. 11, 19, 21. So you keep your numbers under 25? Just that particular set. 17 and 42. 42. Last one? 15. Do you remember the numbers? Yep. Do you remember all the numbers? Hopefully. It's exactly the numbers I wrote. You are amazing. You are amazing. Nicely done. That's crazy. So, sick. you are lucky? I'm gonna try these numbers now. Am I gonna win a million dollars now? Crazy. You see, you just need to believe and you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> if I was the machine, you were a millionaire right now. How did you do that? You did it. But how did you know what I was thinking? <laughs> crazy. I'm going by lottery ticket. I'll play these numbers too. And we win 25 million and take you all for dinner. How about that? I think you're very lucky. <laughs> Thank Thanks you so much. Thank you. Dirty boxes be opened. One with money in it. And with every box opened, the odds are turning against you. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. It's a game, it's a luck game. One of the boxes contain money. I want you to go there and choose one of the boxes. If there is money inside, it's yours. I keep it? Yes. Just go choose anyone you want. Out of all the boxes? Yes. You're gonna give me a hint? No. Let's see what happens. Good luck. Okay, the last one. As you see, there is 30 boxes here. In the last hour, I gave 28 people the chance to win money. I told them that one of the boxes have money inside. Okay. No Nobody win. The money is still here, in one of those two boxes. It's 50-50. It's very easy. The money can be yours. Which box you choose? I'm gonna pick, uh, I'm gonna pick that one. That one? Yeah. Why? Just call my name right now. Did I influence you to choose this? No, you didn't. Did we meet before? No. Please try it out. Yes. Nothing Absolutely there. Nothing. This is the last one. Nobody picked this one. Maybe I have the luck. <laughs> it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's $1,000 almost. How could I be wrong in this perfect situation? There's already all these open boxes, right? 50-50 shot? Maybe everybody's got bad luck today like I do, I guess, right? For the next segment, we welcome number 31, current CEO of the Toronto Argonauts, Michael Pinball Clements. How are we doing, guys? Good to see you. All right, all right. He's 
going to play along without really knowing what he's getting himself into. So this is the place that we are going to play a game that I believe that you're going to play only once in your life. I like games though. I know. Yes. I know. This is why I chose yes. you. This is it. Yes. We have four covers. In all of them, we have cars. Three cars are wrecks, you know, right. like those. One of the cars is very expensive. Okay. I don't know where is the car. You don't know where is the car. Right? Right. I'm going to mark each one of them with numbers. Yes. I want you to choose the first one that you want to destroy. And we will ask the, our friend there to destroy it. Okay? okay. So take your time. I'm going to mark the, the tents. Thank you. This is Haim's house. Clear enough? One, two, three, four? Yes. Did you choose the first one that we're going to destroy? I did. Remember, there is yes. expensive card there. Yes. I will not say nothing. I will not ask you if you want to change your mind or nothing. It's your decision. As I told you, it's in your hands. Okay. Which number you choose for the first one? It is my desire to choose number two. Number two. When you're ready, number two, please. Let's see which car we have there. Quite a machine. for you. Okay. I tried to bring someone to this show that yes. is a fan of yours. Yes. It was very easy. Everybody that I told about you, they said immediately I'm a big fan and I want to be in the show. I have one special here. Okay. Hola. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's a love. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for coming. So did she get to help me? Actually, you are going to help her. I saw Paula a week ago, yes. and I asked you if you want to be in the show. And another thing that I ask, I ask your boss, Mr. David, to bring his car to the show. Do you know where the car is? The car is Infinity, yes. Silver Infinity. Silver. Silver Infinity. And I told him that Paula is here. Yes. So it's not only about an expensive car. It's right. about expensive car and very important to Paula. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 To my well-being. Sir. Yes. So we know it's not number two. Yes. One, three, or four. How are you feeling about this? I hope you're feeling lucky. Yes, yes. I know you've carried a lot in your hands before. Yes. Do you trust him? Oh, yes. yes. Perfect. All right. So yes. she, she is my reinforcements. So number four. Number four. When you're ready. Let's. If it's the wrong yes. one, if it's his car, I will die. chance the stakes are increased in the car there is something that belongs to you and one thing is for sure i'm shaken the car will be demolished <laughs> oh god Two cars have already been sent to Junker Evan, and Pinball Clements is on a roll. Luckily, Paula's boss's 100 grand Silver Infinity is safe and sound. But can their luck hold? This is not right. But are we stopping now? One more. Okay, there is two more cars. In number one and number three, there is something else I want to tell you. Okay. In the car, yes. there is something that belongs to you. I visit your office today, and I saw a very nice trophy that you got in 1995. Yes. Beautiful trophy. Yes. Tell me about the trophy. The trophy is is uh, named after our late great owner, John Candy. It's a crystal trophy, and uh, yeah, it is, it is one of a kind. So, the trophy is in the car. So the moment of truth. Yes. This is 50-50. 
number one or number three. We've chosen two and four with uh, very little thought process in mind. <laughs> so uh, we got one more. So number one. Paula, are you okay with this? Number one. It's not silver. Number one is not silver. Oh. When you're ready, number one. I'm shaking. I don't like the first cassette. Yes, yes. <laughs> Once you hear that, that's it. Hola, be careful with your fingers. Uh, number three, let's join her. Okay, so. let's see the car. It is there? It's there! It's there. <laughs> oh, snap! I'm thinking maybe there's four cars there that are junk cars, and it's just really taking us through the drama of it. Oh, and my it's there. And Paula, if you will, can you bring the trophy from inside? I can't believe the audacity of you. And here <laughs> I can't believe you put somebody else's car there and you actually put me in a position where I could crush it. There you go. The John Candy gross. Memorial Award. It's really yes. good fun. I'm going to be careful next time I hang out with you. <laughs> yes. That was totally amazing. Yes, yes. Can great, I great, great. introduce you to Carol, my mother? Hello, Carol. How you doing?